Full race cards and selections for every weekend and every day of major horse racing festivals are on our website at ulo.co.uk. All the upcoming racing action is out west, for the Irish Champions Weekend, starting with Leopardstown on Saturday, before moving to headquarters for the Sunday card at the Curragh. British racing is postponed on Saturday, after the passing of one of our sport's greatest supporters, owner and breeder Elizabeth II, so the final classic of the British flat season will be run at Doncaster on Sunday. This will be covered in our Sunday post, while we all pay our respects to Her Majesty on Saturday. The Irish Champions Weekend has been a huge success since its inception in 2014, so top-class racing is still on the menu. Thunderkiss looks a solid chance in the Paddy Power Stakes, and after her third in the Red Hot Pretty Polly, should appreciate the drop in grade, though more rain might not be welcome. Vadini can land the Irish Champions Stakes, and once again locks horns with Mishriff after their close encounter in the Coral Eclipse at Sandown Park. He's a short-priced favourite to take the honours though, and the French Raider is one of the most exciting colts in training throughout Europe. Homeless Songs was one of the season's standout classic winners, after her five-and-a-half length romp in the Irish 1000 Guineas, and is sure to be well-backed for the Group 1 matron stakes. Elsewhere on the card, Zarensk can land the opener, while I'm a gambler and La Hacienda look decent each way chances in the handicaps. Our nap though, runs in the juvenile stakes, where we'll side with Auguste Rodin. It is a bit of a family affair for this group two juvenile stakes, with Aidan O'Brien fielding two, while sons Don Asher and Joseph Patrick send out one apiece. Jim Bolger has the only other runner in what should be a straight duel between Aidan O'Brien's pair, Auguste Rodin and Tower of London. Both have shown that they can get on with it, and the stable first jockey has won on both last time out, so Ryan Moore saddling Auguste Rodin suggests that's the yard's first string. Good enough for us, so Auguste Rodin to carve out a nice win in the first of the pattern races. Later on, Boundless Ocean has to be the one to follow in the Boomerang Mile. Jim Bolger's Colt loves it around here, and lines up for this group too on a course hat-trick, after wins in July and August. He should be able to cope with the extra cut in the ground as he's effective up to a mile and a half, and can serve it up to British Raider Jadumi. He gets a £5 pull from his main rival, and that should be enough to see him home and hosed at half-past four.